motoring enthusiast party senator Ricky Muir, seen here with a briefcase full of Top Gear magazines, has emerged as an unlikely saviour of the environment. We all knew Ricky loved cars, but it turns out he also loves the idea of a future, with the senator declaring he will vote against scrapping the Australian Renewable Energy Agency, or ARENA. So why did he go to bat for ARENA? Perhaps it's because, unlike other politicians, 33-year-old Ricky is thinking like a man who knows he'll still be alive in the future when environmental research conducted now will matter. And this morning, he surprised everyone by splitting from the Palm United Party alliance and voting with the Greens and Labor to successfully stop an immediate vote on scrapping the carbon tax. And the government's reaction? <laughs> Building. Well, we didn't see that coming. To find out exactly how much they did not see that coming, we'll cross now to Jazz Twemlow. Jazz, how is the Coalition taking the setback? Not well. I'm at Coalition HQ and the atmosphere is one of utter disbelief and shock. It's like they've seen a ghost gargoyling itself. Right, and what's the cause? Ghost NRL. No, the cause of the disbelief and shock. Ah, well, Ricky's shock vote could add another $1.3 billion to the Coalition's budget hole. That's on top of Palmer's opposition to cutting savings measures linked to the repeal of the mining tax. So it's no wonder people here are on edge. What's this? Hi, can I have a uh, glass of water, please? A glass of water? Yeah. But we have to make more savings. We can't afford it! Oh, God. Oh, God! So why has Muir's decision come as such a surprise to the Coalition? Well, he's a sawmill worker and motoring enthusiast party senator defending ARENA. Let me repeat, that's a car-loving tree butcher fighting for renewable energy. It'd be like the sex party voting against trips to the cinema for a romantic comedy followed by dinner and a coffee at my place. Well, not my sex formula. I, I said it would be like that. <sighs> God. It's also a big surprise because the Coalition expected little resistance. Arena was already in the grave, the Coalition were patting down the topsoil, and Muir's just come along with a spade, dug up, and then performed mouth-to-mouth -mouth on the dirty corpse. So, are there any more unexpected developments that could upset the Coalition? I doubt it. Unfortunately, with the budget coming, all the blocks they're going to face next are more predictable. Such as the $7 co-payment and the university fee rise. Exactly. Oh, God! The budget! <laughs> Wow, I can't believe we jumped through a different window. Is there anything the Coalition can do to manage all this resistance in the Senate? I don't know, put a mattress under both these windows? I have a feeling this is going to be happening a lot. Back to you, Tom. Thank you, Jazz. But if Ricky Muir really cared about the environment, he would join the Bicycle Enthusiast Party. Good night.